Hello BookTube. Um, occasionally I will do a set, a video about a book set, and that's in order to relieve the, uh, the time on uh, shelf tours. So when I hit a set, I can move right beyond it instead of getting bogged down. Um, this is that. It's the Library of America black cover, dust jacket cover sets. I have some of the slipcase without the dust jackets. For some reason, I like the black covers on the Library of America. Um, so this grouping of them is towards the American history shelves. And I thought I'd do them separately. And then um, work through those. Um, so I'm going to start here with uh, Thomas Paine, Collected Writings, which includes Common Sense, The Crisis, Rights of Man, The Age of Reason, Pamphlets, Articles, and Letters. Uh, this is the Library of America. It's the ninth printing. And when did they put this together? I'm not... Um... Volume Compilation Notes and Chronology, copyright 1955. So Eric Foner, who's a biographer, I have some of his other stuff, selected the contents and wrote the notes for this volume. So uh, we'll get to Mr. Foner's book about pain later. The next one I have is John Adams, Revolutionary Writings. Give you an idea of that. I've got all these cards in these. These are the end papers. Um, Revolutionary writing 1755 to 1775 and Gordon Wood, many of you will know who he is, was the editor. And uh, give you an idea of some of the table of contents. That paper, but I don't know why I'm keeping these little notes in them. And then we have uh, John Adams Revolutionary Writing 1775 to 1783. And that is again with Gordon Wood as the editor. Moving right along, we have the American Revolution Writings for the War of Independence. Here's the end papers. Uh, John wrote a Hamill, selected the contents and wrote the notes for this volume. This volume uh, was from 2001. Okay. Then we go to Benjamin Franklin. Uh, Franklin, Silence Dogwood, The Busybody, and Early Writings. Uh, J.A. Leo LeMay wrote the notes and selected the contents for this volume, which is from 1987 and 2002. It's the second printing. And then we have uh, Benjamin Franklin, Autobiography, Poor Richard, and Later Writings. And uh, Letters from London, 1757 to 1775. Paris, 1776 to 1785. Philadelphia, 1785 to 1790. Poor Richard's Almanac, 1733 to 1758. And the Autobiography. And again, it's uh, J.A. Leo LeMay wrote the notes and selected the contents. And this is 87 and 97 for copyright for the compilation. These all have, um, another thing I should note, is they have these little ribbon markers, which I, I like, and handy. Then there's a two volume set here, and one I've actually been working my way through. This is uh, absolutely wonderful stuff. It's Francis Parkman. Uh, in this case, it's Pioneers of France in the New World. The Jesuits in North America, La Salle and the Discovery of the Great West, and the Old Regime in Canada. Really good read. Um, let me see. This was uh, David Levin wrote the notes in chronology and selected the text for this volume, and it's 1983. 
And then the second volume in that set is uh, Francis Parkman, Count Frontenac in New France under Louis XIV, A Half Century of Conflict, and Montcalm and Wolf, which I have not gotten to yet, but that's uh, it's one of those ongoing projects that I'm really enjoying. And uh, David Levin again wrote the notes and chronology and selected the text for this volume, and it's from 1983. It's the fourth printing. Then, this is another two-volume set. This is the debate on the Constitution, Federalist and Anti-Federalist speeches, articles, and letters during the struggle over ratification, Part 1, September 1787 to February 1788. Um, Bernard Balin selected the contents and wrote the heading and notes for this volume, which is from 1993. And then part two of that, the debate on the Constitution, Federalist and Anti-Federalist speeches, articles, and letters during the struggle over ratification, part two, January to August 1788. And uh, let's see here, and Bernard Balin selected the uh, contents and wrote the headings and notes for this volume. Then, uh, we have the uh, James Madison writings. It was from 1999, and this is the fourth printing from the Library of America. And uh, Jack N. Raycove selected the contents and wrote the notes for this volume. And then we move on. Um, let me get the page here. To Henry Adams, History of the United States of America during the administration of Thomas Jefferson. And that's from 1801 to 1809. And uh, Earl N. Harbert wrote the notes for this volume. And then next is again Henry Adams, History of the United States of America during the James uh, administrations of James Madison. And Earl N. Harbert wrote the notes for this volume. And moving along, we have Jefferson himself, writings, so there's autobiography, notes on the state of Virginia, public and private papers, addresses, and letters. This came out in 1984. I have the 19th printing. And Merrill D. Peterson wrote the notes and selected the contents for this volume. And then we have uh, George Washington writings. Uh, John Rodenhamel selected the contents and wrote the notes for this volume. And then we go on to Hamilton writings. So Alexander Hamilton, and this one was in 2001, and uh, Joanne B. Freeman selected the contents and wrote the notes for this volume. So John Marshall writings, this is from 2010, this is the first printing. Charles F. Hobson selected the contents and wrote the notes for this volume. So that's writings. Then um, this volume, I only have the first, and I'm on the lookout for the second. And that's uh, James Fenimore Cooper, The Leatherstocking Tales 1, The Pioneers, The Last of the Mohicans, and The Prairie. This is one of those projects I'm really looking forward to. Uh, Blake Nevius wrote in the notes and selected the text for this volume. Then another set, we got um, Reporting World War II, Part 1, American Journalism, 1938 to 1944. Um, 
this was, if I can get the pages. The pages are a little thin on this because there is a lot of text in each of these volumes. And sometimes that can be a bit of a struggle. So there was an advisory board for reporting World War II, which was Samuel Hines, Ann Matthews, Nancy Caldwell Sorrell, and Roger G. J. Spiller. This was from 1995. And the first first um, piece is William L. Shire, It's All Over, the Munich Conference, September 1938. You can tell this is a couple pages in on the table of contents. So this is a lot of stuff in this. And the second one here is Part 2, American Journalism, 1944 to 1946. And this is, uh, let's see if it's the same advisory committee. Yes, it is. So Samuel Hines, Ann Matthews, Nancy Caldwell Sorrell, and Roger J. Spiller. In 1995. And then Thurber, Writings and Drawings. You can see the little drawing they have up there. This was from 1996. And this is Garrison Keeler selected the contents for this volume. And they do have drawings. And then my last volume I have is Philip K. Dick, Four Novels of the six, 1960s, The Man in the High Castle, The Three Stigmata of Palmer Eldridge, Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep, and Ubik. And uh, that was from 2007, and John Lethem selected the contents and wrote the notes for this volume. So that is what I have for Library of America volumes in the black dust jackets, um, which I'm collecting now. And uh, thank you, BookTube.